Hi, this is Terry Gray with Palomar College Academic Technology, and we're continuing our little What's New tour with PowerPoint 2010 today, and we're going to look at sections. You can now organize your PowerPoint presentations into sections, and here's how you would go about creating a section. Actually, there's several ways, as usual, with Microsoft. I'm in Normal View in PowerPoint. I can click between slides right-click the little insertion point and choose Add Section to add a section between um, slides 1 and 2 here. And then uh, to name that section I can right-click the section divider and choose Rename Section and give it a name. Like that. And I've created a section called Introduction Now and I can collapse that section by clicking the little arrow next to its name. And you can see in this presentation I have already gone through and made other sections. The number in parentheses that you see after each section title is the number of slides in that section. Now I'm going to remove the section I just created. Remove section. I right click the uh, section title, section header, and choose remove section and you can see those slides are merged back into the section one, the one called title that I have created. Because I want to show another way to create sections and that is simply to click on the first slide of the section. Right click that first slide and choose add section. Same sort of procedure. You can do the same thing in slide sorter view. I'm going to change to slide sorter view now and there's uh, those slides in that section right-click the first one and choose Add Section. Right-click that section divider, choose Rename, and once again we'll call it Introduction. <laughs> and there's our section. We can collapse it. And uh, you can now on the section, uh, you can also create these on the section command in the ribbon, but on that section command there's a drop-down and the drop-down will allow us to collapse all and you see all of the sections in collapsed view right now or expand all and there you see the sections expanded let's go ahead and collapse them all again and go back to normal view notice the collapse expand settings don't uh, are not retained between views but the section headers are, of course. If you create one in slide sorter view, it will be re it will be reflected in normal view. Okay, here's our uh, collapsed all view of sections. One of the advantages of sections is it uh, you can now reorganize your uh, presentation by simply dragging the sections around. Let's say I want to take my communications section here, put it above the section called earning power. Uh, there's once again a couple ways to do this. The simple way is to press down the left mouse button, drag it up, and drop it right where you want it. Okay, I've reorganized that by dragging it around. I can right click that section and choose move section up to move it up one uh, section at a time. I think you'll agree it's much easier to just drag it around. Of course you can drag them around on slide sorter view also. Uh, also let's talk about removing sections. If you highlight a section, go to the section command, you'll note that you can remove the section. This will not remove the slides in the section, it will just remove the sections. To remove the section and its slides you have to right click the section in normal view and choose remove section and slides. Okay, Simply removing a section removes only the section header and it merges the, the slides into the previous section. To remove the section and slides you need to choose the command um, by right clicking the section header and choosing remove section and slides. Okay. Uh, you can also copy sections. Now this doesn't seem to be well thought out and it's not supported by the ribbon structure, uh, so to speak. I can, for example, take these four slides in my tolerance section here, press Control-C, 
click on another area in my presentation, press Control V, and you see I've, I've uh, pasted them in. And on my little uh, con control menu, I could have used the destination theme, kept the source formatting had it been different. Uh, but it wasn't. Uh, one advantage you might uh, perceive is that if you were creating a new presentation based on a certain section, I could uh, click a section to highlight it, choose copy, then created a new presentation and pasted those slides into the new presentation. Okay, I mean I could have done that but um, uh, it's that's probably not going to happen all that often. Okay, let's go back to our other presentation. Uh, let's talk a couple, about a couple other advantages. Uh, one of them is the ability to now print by section. Uh, you do that by choosing File, going to what's what's now called Backstage View, although I have a feeling that name's going to disappear fairly soon. Choosing Print, and then on the Print what area we can choose to print just the earning power section, for example, just these six slides, or the communications section, just those three slides. So that's one advantage. If you were making custom handouts of a small portion of a larger presentation, uh, this would be useful. I have to note, however, that in the Save and Send area on the Create Handouts section, it is totally ignorant of the sections you've created in your presentation. If I were to choose Create Handouts, I would have to create a handout from my entire presentation, not the sections within. So it's not well integrated into that function. Okay. Uh, another advantage is, let's go back to our title slide. I'm going to press F5 to go to slide show view, full screen, and uh, if I would like to navigate to a section, I can right click my slide, choose go to section, and now jump to the learning power section, for example. Okay, so that is one advantage, navigating by section. I'm pressing escape to return to the edit view, and uh, Overall, those are the way that you create sections and some of the advantages of organizing into sections. I, I will say it will have strong use for uh, college professors because they tend to make enormous presentations. In spite of all uh, the advice they receive, they tend to make presentations that have, you know, 70 to 100 slides in them. So if you have a really large presentation, organizing it into sections will be very useful for you. PowerPoint seems to be uh, unaware in some of the commands of the sections that you create. And that's unfortunate because it could be much more useful than it actually is. I've already shown you that the Create Handouts feature is unaware of sections. Also, surprisingly, the Custom Slideshow function. If you click on Slideshow, Custom Slideshow, and create a new custom slideshow, you'll see that it's totally unaware of the sections you've created. That's really unfortunate and poorly thought out. Uh, I only have to assume that the programmers at Microsoft um, don't talk to each other, the developmental groups, because it would have been very useful to have a create custom slideshow based on section function here. And the other part uh, that really is odd is that when you go to import a slideshow, Go to the Home tab, New Slides, Reuse Slides, and you look at a presentation. It is also unaware of the sections that are created in that presentation. And that's also unfortunate. You ought to be able to import by section. So you can see Microsoft has some work to do to make this feature uh, more useful. But uh, f considering how long people have been asking for this feature, what we have uh, is a big improvement over what we did have. Okay, thanks for listening.